So on behalf of the OECS Commission, I'd like to wish everybody a happy World AIDS Day 2016. The theme for this year is Hands Up for HIV Prevention. We're focusing on um, voluntary counseling and testing, um, educating um, the population as much as possible, particularly key and vulnerable key populations um, such as MSM, men who have sex with men, transgender populations, the youth and sex workers. There are also other groups that we need to mention, um, persons with disability as well. So prevention is very, very important for us. And it's not just talking and testing, it's actually providing condoms as well so persons use condoms appropriately. Uh, and focusing on high risk behavior, certain having multiple partners and unprotected sex. And with the new focus on prevention, we want to focus on emphasize treatment as prevention, where we put persons on uh, antiretroviral therapy in order to prevent transmission to their partners. So historically, the OECS has come a long way. Um, when the HIV epidemic started, we had quite a number of persons, you know, dying of HIV. Um, and the government took the initiative to acquire funding from the global, from the, the global fund, from the World Bank, to put measures in place to control the spread of HIV. Um, we've had partners in the past that have really helped us, including uh, PEPFAR, um, the Bill Clinton Foundation, um, and they have really helped in stemming, you know, the rise of HIV. Where we now we have. A stabilization in the incidence of HIV. But HIV is still a problem. Today, estimated over 4,000 people in the OECS have HIV, and we have about 1,500 persons in treatment, which gives us about 35% of persons living with HIV on treatment. So we need to put measures in place to address this gap. And a primary measure of this is to, is this project in itself, to, and our principal goal is to reduce the new incident, the incidence of HIV according to the 1990-90 targets and concomitant with that to move towards the elimination of TB. So we have a TB elimination HIV project. We want to focus now on, on leadership and with strong commitment and having a powerful impact. And with leadership, we, continue, we appreciate the continued partnership of all the stakeholders including uh, the sub-recipients, um, Caribbean Medlab, Medlabs Foundation, um, CVC, Caribbean Vulnerable Coalition, and also all of the national AIDS program in the OECS countries. Uh, we also look towards the strong and continued support of the OECS Commission to ensure that all countries get the requisite support that they need. So that leadership is continuing and it's vital. As far as commitment, we want to continue to sustain the gains that we achieved over the past 30 years. We cannot relax. HIV is still a problem and it's not going anywhere. And through this project, we want to put mechanisms in place to ensure that all the gaps are addressed. And at the end of this project, we would like to see a reduction in the incidence of HIV. We want to move to reduce stigma and discrimination faced by people living with HIV. We want to focus on human rights as well, increase the collaboration between TB and HIV, and really bolster our treatment and care so that more people are placed on antiretroviral therapy so that they reduce transmission. So our goal is to increase the quality of care provided to patients living with HIV and to ensure that they have a better quality of life. For those people who have HIV, we want you to continue to take your medication and know and be rest assured that your life expectancy is just as good as anybody out there because we've come a long way in terms of treatment, care and support. Thank you.